Hey what's up it's Brianna and today I'm going to be doing my March wrap up and my April TBR. So March was I think one of the best reading months I have ever had in my life. It was ridiculous. I read 10 novels and 2 graphic novels which is amazing. So yeah I'm just going to kind of blow through them really quick. You've probably seen most of them in my Slay That series readathon wrap up. So the first book I finished in March was The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry and I do have a review up for this. I did not like this book very much so I will link the review for this down below in the description box so you can go and check that out. The next book that I read in March was The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And I absolutely loved this book. I read it in the Malexi Universe Goodreads group. I went through it so quick. I know a lot of people were having problems getting through it and saying it was kind of slow. I seriously disagree. I read this book so quickly and I loved it so much. Then on audiobook I finished Cress by Marissa Meyer which is my favorite Lunar Chronicles book so far. It was just amazing on audiobook. So then I read Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and I really did love this book. It's one of my favorite books. It was just amazing. Totally reminded me of when I was in high school and going through these high school relationships. And for the Slay That series readathon, I finished the Chantress trilogy. So I finished Chantress Alchemy and Chantress Fury by Amy Butler Greenfield. And I seriously loved this trilogy so much. It is so underhyped and I just absolutely adored it. Also for the Slay That series readathon, I finished the Unearthly trilogy and I finished Hollowed and Boundless, both by Cynthia Hand, and I absolutely loved this trilogy as well. It was so amazing and just fun and cute and I loved it. Finally for Slay That series I read Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 by Art Spiegelman and these are both graphic novels. These are the first graphic novels I'd ever read and I absolutely loved them. They were really, really great and raw and just awesome. So yeah, I'm really glad that I read these. Then after the Slay That series readathon, I kind of didn't know what to read and I took a little bit of a break, like a couple days here and there, um, just because that was a lot of reading. So after the Slay That series and I got the Owl Crate, I read The Serpent King by Jeff Sintner, which was the Owl Crate book for this month, and I absolutely loved this book. I did have a couple problems with it, and I do have a full review, and I will link that in the description so you can go watch that if you want to, but I did really, really love this book a lot. After The Serpent King, I read My Beautiful Failure by Janet Ruth Young, and I this book was okay. I didn't love it and I didn't hate it. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I did have a couple problems with it, but it was okay. And I finished this book yesterday, so I don't know. I'm probably not going to read anything today, and if I do, um, it'll probably be something from my April TBR just to get started on it. This is pretty much all that I have read in March. So, like I said, I'm probably not going to read today. I might. I kind of feel like taking a break today to just kind of not read and maybe watch The Walking Dead because I love that show. So. But in my April TBR, I do have four books. I know it's not as much as I read last month, but I feel like that month was so full of reading and in April I kind of want to go a little bit easier on myself and just take a little bit of a break because that was kind of ridiculous. So the first book I have on my April TBR is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I know I have not read this yet, but I am buddy reading it with Jen from the booktube channel Batman Reads Books. She is so awesome and I will link her channel down below, so you should definitely go check her out, but I am buddy reading this with her, which is really exciting because neither of us have buddy read a book before. Oh, it should be so much fun and 
I was kind of against reading anything by Cassandra Clare just because of her kind of shady past with the Mortal Instruments, but I am going to give her a try just because I'm not going to pass up on a great story because I don't agree with some of the things the author has done. We're going to be reading City of Bones this month, which is so exciting. Then on my TBR, I want to read Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I love classics so much and I kind of want to read all of Jane Austen's books this year. So I'm going to read them in the publication order, and the first one that she published was Sense and Sensibility. So I want to get into this one. I'm really, really excited. I've heard amazing things about this book. See, next two are kind of mood choices, just because I have wanted to read these books for a while, and I feel like this month I will probably want to. So the first one is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have heard so many awesome things about this trilogy by her, and I love X-Men, and I've heard that this is kind of like a dystopian X-Men type thing, and I love that idea. I love the X-Men. I love superheroes. I just think that I will love this book so much, so I'm finally gonna pick it up. Then one of the books by my favorite author that I have not read yet is The Good Guy by Dean Koontz, and Dean Koontz is my all-time favorite author. Like, I love every single one of his books that I've read, and I've had this book for the last, like, three years and still haven't read it yet, and I do want to read more and more Dean Koontz because I just love him so much, so I'm going to start with The Good Guy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I read a crap ton of books in March and probably won't read that much in April. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, or if you want to read any, that'd be awesome. I love discussing with you guys. Make sure you go check out Jen's channel at Batman Reads Books. She is so awesome. So make sure you go check her out. I will, like I said, link her channel in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!